Hey YouTube tubers, all I'm going to do tonight is just show you how to reapply some paste on your CPU. Try to take these off in a crisscross way. Don't lose your springs or washers. Okay, so all, all I do here is just the rubbing alcohol and a paper, paper towel. You don't, you don't need it wet, wet. Just get it enough to wear. And rub off all the old paste. Just make it nice and damp. Okay, well there's a CPU, now you gotta get to the water block itself and do the same thing. Now I use Arctic Silver 5, you can use MX4. I want to use MX4, but I've had this tube of Arctic Silver for the past couple, like, couple years, so I'm just using it up. So your heat sink looks like that, and your CPU is about that clean. And all I do is about the rice size. You can spread, spread it around if you would like to. Try not to put too much on because Arctic Silver 5 is conductive and it can ruin your board. And after that, just put it back on. You can put it on, squish a little bit, twist, then pull it back up and make sure everything applied right. And then it all looks good, and once it heats up, it'll spread. And I'd like to add as well that uh, some people get taught to spread the uh, thermal paste around it with a glove. Obviously, you don't have to do that. Uh, Corey has done it with multiple CPUs now and has never had a problem. And 
things. Don't mix up your springs and your washers. When you reapply your block, make sure that you do a crisscross pattern. Make sure that that paste gets on there even, evenly. And just go back over them a couple times, make sure everything's tight, snug. With this coolant block, it should just stop itself. Or just level up the screws with the top of the nuts here. See how that screw head's about level with that? That's where I had it before. I run temps on an overclock 4670K. At 4.4 at about 55 max on a 240 custom rad. Every, Everything is uh, excess PC except for the block. And that is it. That's it. That's all you have to it. And enjoy. Thanks.